View templates contain many of the predefined settings for how a view should display. And there's two different ways to set the view settings for View in Revit. The first spot is to come underneath the View tab, then move over to View Templates on the ribbon. When you do this, you'll see a few different options. There'll be Apply the Template to the View, Create a Template from the Current View, and then Manage your View Templates. Manage View Templates will take you to the View Template settings. Create Template from Current View, that will create a template based on all the visibility information that's associated with the view that's currently on the screen. The one we want to select will be Apply Template Properties to Current View. This is going to set a pre-existing template and its properties to this view that we're currently looking at on the screen. So click on Apply Template Properties to Current View. When you do this, you're going to see this thing called a Discipline Filter, and right now it says All. What this means is that it's going to show every kind of filter that's available to us. If we highlight it on one of these other filters, it would give us filters specific for architectural information, structural information, or mechanical information. Each of these filters contain all the information that we see here underneath View Properties. That includes the detail level of the view. All the settings inside of Visibility Graphics, Shadows, Lighting, if there's a background image applied to the view. The discipline of the view, such as architectural. This is how it knows here where it has a discipline filter, based on the discipline of the view, whether or not that should show up here on the list. There's also a view type filter, where it has 3D views, ceiling views, floor plan views, or elevation views. And based on the one that you select, you'll get a new listing of different kinds of filters that you can apply to your current view. In this instance, I'm underneath Floor, Structural, and Area Plans, and while this is a little unusual, what I'm going to pick is going to be the Structural Framing Plan. And the settings I know for Structural will just show those elements which are considered structural elements in the building. Now I'm going to select on OK. And we're going to see this view change. Now all we see are those things that hold up different objects, those categories of things such as columns and floors that support weight structural elements in the building. If we did this again, come back up here to View Templates and apply the template properties to current view, we could then choose something different off of the list, such as the Architectural Presentation 3D. That's the way that it looked before. And if we click on Apply Properties to this, give it a second, and then click on OK, and it's applied those properties back to this view. Now, whenever we select on Apply, all it's really doing underneath these view templates is it setting those settings, any of the default settings underneath here, and I'll just pick on overrides model just so you can see it. It's setting anything that might be on, any overrides, any object colors, line styles, whatever. Whatever the settings are inside of these dialog boxes, it's applying it to the view. Now, the other option that we have, and I'm just going to click on cancel to this, is in the properties of the view itself. So, for instance, I'm going to go to properties right now with nothing selected. And there's an option here that says View Template. And if you select there, where it has the word None, you could pick a View Template off of the list. What this means is if that View Template would ever get changed or modified, then those settings that are associated with this View Template would then automatically get applied to every view that has this View Template information associated with it. Use the Architectural Presentation 3D, click on OK, and now we can see that the view template for architectural presentation is now applied to this. And if any changes to that view template would occur, it would update each of our views that have this associated with it. Now, if we want to create a view template from scratch, that's easy enough to do. Underneath here, you can go to Create Template from Current View. If you select on that, it'll ask you to give it a name. And if you clicked on OK, you would now have a new view template that you could pick off of the pull down list and it'll have all the properties that your current view currently has. To apply a view template or to use a view template, all you need to do is come up here to View Templates, apply the template properties to the current view, select which template that you want to use, and then click on OK. Or find that template over here underneath the properties of the view, apply that view template to it, and then if this view template and its properties should ever change, then all your views that have that view template assigned to it throughout your entire project environment will update automatically.